welcome back to Rome Total War, where we are playing the Julii in a slightly different way from how you would usually play it. We're going after Anatolia and Greece rather than um, the northern regions that have terrible, terrible towns uh, and are pretty spread out. Especially as you see, start getting up to the east, they get ridiculously spread out. It takes you like a couple of turns at least to get between the towns. So, we're going after Greece down here. Looks like the Brutii, they've taken Thessalonica, but they got knocked back down here, which is good. Uh, or they tried to escape. Hmm. So, Corinth, we want to get this army down onto Athens now. Hmm. We could force a draw out battle here. However, we would need to get around there somehow. Forward. Now, if we fought them there, would they both fight? That's what I want to know. Hmm. They would. They could probably come down and try and actually attack us. However, I think we do do the try. Try and force the draw out here. We are retraining everyone. Let's see where they move next turn. We'll bring Decimus across to here. Wallbreaker, command talent, and confident commander. Pretty good. And Herius, you can come down to here. Mediterranean. We are. Still recruiting equites. Batavium, not quite done. We are building the governor's palace after that. Now Carthage, this is a decision we have to make. Do we want to attack these guys? We've got about equal like sized armies. Looks like we might have cavalry capabilities. Okay, they can't reach Carthage, so I think we wait. For these three equites, and we might get a man of the hour. So let's end the turn there, see what happens. Okay, Greek navy, we should win that. Yeah, one. Don't know where my ships were. I've turned the uh, AI movement on now, so you should be able to see what the AI is doing. Settlement besieged. Thermon. Okay, they've gone down to Thermon. They won't build any siege equipment this turn. Now, hmm, that Macedonian army's in the way. Now, we could take probably Athens in the same turn. It might force them to turn back if we go after Athens. So, hmm, who do we want to bring? Bring these two generals and we'll start recruiting another army up here. So, let's have a look at that army. Do you have any, uh, I was going to say, hopefully we have some uh, cavalry, but it doesn't look like it. Merge those two. Merge these. Okay, no. Apparently they're different. Okay, Mercury Peltas and Illyrian. So the Illyrians are better, so we want to take them. Bring the Velites. Bring maybe the Illyrians, the Mercenary. I'll bring all those. I should be... Uh, more than enough. Put you into there. Okay, we've got a new family member. Popularity falls with the masses. Probably because our population is not actually that high right now. Right, Mediolanium, we're continuing with the equites. Thermon, equites. I mean, we can retrain those guys, but not really. Big deal. Now, their attack should be higher now because of their. Uh, they've got a bonus to their weapons. Okay, Germania and Thrace are allies. Carthage, Numidia. Well, I was going to try and bribe you are, Byzantium. You are Just don't like it. Let me try and bribe. No. Possible, Just check the map information. Place. Make sure they're still. Oh, my days. No way. No way would we accept that. Uh, we'll bring you down to here and hopefully we can recruit a boat. Can we retrain the boats here? Yeah, nice. Once we've recruited those Princopes, we might as well. Hmm. We can recreate. We can recruit some boats from here as well. However, they'll be there, which is not ideal. Now we're recruiting Princopes there. Let's recruit some more Equites. Obviously, uh, cavalry. Cavalry is just so strong in this Incredible. game. It's just so much stronger in general. Uh, let's get some more mercenary pelters. They are rubbish, but they do a tiny bit of damage. 
We even, oh my god, it's peasants. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, zero, they, they got zero kills. Victory! Now, I'm hoping here... Engage the enemy! Besieging settlement, sir! Okay, that's quite a lot. Get a lot. There we are. Um, I'm hoping here... Sir. Okay. Okay, those creating arch is going to be ruthless. 15 missile attack. Peasants with a silver experience, which is crazy. The rest of it's trash, though. They have one general. Excuse me, one general. Now, I'm hoping they'll bring back these guys. They won't be able to... Yeah, we've got siege equipment. They won't be able to do anything. Um, they won't be able to get to us. However, I'm hoping they just, you know, back off this fight and come down here. And we'll continue recruiting down here so that we get a new army. Now, hmm. Now, across here, we've done, yeah. Right, let's do the construction first and then we'll do the recruitment just to make sure we've got enough money. Okay, they're only on 2% growth now, which is rubbish. Um, I think we should continue upgrading our military though, just so that we've got it when we become a huge city. Tavia and Serta. We will go with sewers, maybe. Corinth, shrine to Jupiter. Yeah, that's nice. It's absolutely fine. Vivius Julius is a good general's unit. General, general. What? You have a poet and a merchant. Sir. You have decorated age retainer, body slave, poet, Greek turncoat, slave trainer. Uh, I mean, do we want to put any of those before he dies into Amuleus? I mean, he's got, probably going to die soon. So, yeah, we don't want bonus. Yeah, maybe not those. Hmm. Slave trader, body slave. Maybe not. Okay. Looking okay. Should we fight them? I think we've got to fight them. Yeah, it looks like they've only got two units of cavalry, so shouldn't be much of an issue for our five. Do not want you to be commanded by the AI. Yeah, so these town militia are rubbish. The only people that are here that are any good are the cavalry and the uh, Libyan spearmen. Now, the cavalry might escape, so that might be a bit of an issue, but... Okay, so our friendly allies are coming from the left. So let's fight this battle. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully completely destroy that Carthaginian army and then we can march on Thapsus. Now, and I'm hoping Today we get is a, grim day. a general from this. All battles are grim. Best you can hope for is to hurt the other side more than they hurt you. Today we go against really? the Carthaginians. Their foul baby killing is only the start of their wickedness. So beware. In victory, they are cruel beyond words. Our task today is a noble one. To preserve the town and its people. We are even matched in numbers. Man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. That said, it is also true that they are the stronger warriors. Brute force will not be enough this day. They will undoubtedly skulk in the woods and hope to ambush some of us. They are lacking in spearmen, and this will work to the benefit of our large contingent of horsemen. Way. <laughs> the hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. Be of good cheer. Our comrades are marching to our aid, even as I speak. And before we start, just remember, they are more scared of us, true Romans to a man, than we are of them. Cool. Actually, a pretty good speech for a general that isn't a general. A commander that isn't a general, I suppose I should say. Right. Gods, be praised! Perfect, the they're coming from here. this way. Send them to fight! Dishearten the enemy! Uh, you guys are going to form the battle line. Run as soon as you get here. And, yeah. Skirmishers. 
Yeah, they're not going to accept that order, are they now? So weird how they come in on a corner. Like some of them come in, some of them don't. Just move forward. Yeah, you equities. You guys, just keep moving forward. We've got plenty of time though. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, you guys, an actual battle line now, please. Quite a small map, this actually. Let's run forwards. Actually, that's not the fault with these. Now, the cavalry, this is where the real meat of the army is. I just don't want our general to die because then we might start routing like that uh, the last battle when we took Carthage. Got pretty frustrated, but understandable. All the guys were routing as soon as the general died. Are they going to retreat? No, they're going to be forward again now. Looks like they're running forwards, so let's let's run. I don't want to fight them this close to the, the side of the map either, because you know they don't have long to route. Okay, they're not they're not running anymore. That's cool. Right, they're fresh. All these equites looking pretty epic. Looking pretty good. There they are. Uh, where's the Prinker base? It was basically the Hastati, but more armoured. Pretty cool. They're standing and ready to fight, it looks like it. And now the balance of power is in our favour. There you are. Could put these guys in groups. I kind of just prefer the freedom of not having them in groups though. Now if it was Napoleon, I'd definitely, or Empire, I'd be putting them in groups, but in Rome, it just feels nicer to not put them in groups. Okay, you run just to catch up. Now you can walk. Alright, let's speed this up. Don't want to run our troops just because. Like last battle, they were exhausted and they didn't fight like amazingly against uh, Macedon. Right, skirmishers. Starty. Let's come forward even more, maybe. No, you're not gonna. You're not going to face us. They're re, you know, they're re uh, jigging their, their formation because we've got all these guys up up here. Looks like they've got their round shield cavalry to the little, to the side. Okay, the other round shield cavalry is their general, so nice. Should be an easy kill. No, you're going to keep running. Okay, we'll chase after you then. If you keep running, we'll chase after you. How are we looking with these guys? No, they can't fire on anyone, can they? Come forward a bit then. Maybe we should be able to fire with them. Bring the skirmishers forwards. You can sprint. Are they firing or what? Into the Libyan spearmen as well. So that's the, their best unit that they have. Is that, all the, is that them in phalanx formation or what? Because it's not amazing. Right. Bring these guys up here. Still marching just our troops forward. If they charge us though, we will get the first... We'll get a volley off, so... Let's do that. Halt. Get the volley off. So we should be getting a volley off very soon. They can't do anything against it either. Iberian infantry. This is not spearmen, so yeah, they're broken. Okay. 
kill the Libyan spearmen. They should break. Okay, one of them's up there, the boat breaking out. Come up that way, quick, quick, quick. Get out of the way. Just come into the back of the town militia here. Just wanna kill their general. This is like this should be fairly easy. Like the Carthaginian base troops, like the Iberian infantry, are not brilliant. The Libyan, the Libyan spearmen aren't bad. Okay, we just got experience with this unit, that's good. For us anyway. Right. Let's just charge. Okay, no, charge general. That'd be nice for us, and we can follow on with the rest of the troops. These skirmishers should die pretty soon. Charge into those round shields, let's go. If they want to take on these units, they can. Don't think they'll be able to. Are they trying to retreat? Looks like they are. Gutted. The gods be praised! Right. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they uh, flee! Come across here, quick, quick, quick. Go, 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 go. Kill as many as you can. Kill them all, kill them all. Just kill them, kill them, kill them. Let's go. How many have we got left? Yeah, they only lost 67%, so we need to kill as many as we can, really. You guys, this town militia, maybe? You guys, there's a lot of town militia there. Let's get this big clump into them. Run them down, run them all down. There aren't any going the other way, so we're okay. You got a couple of you have javelins, we don't want to deal with that. We don't want any friendly fire. Kill those skirmishers. Uh, one of you guys are after this town militia. Uh, bring you across to here. Yep, kill these last two. Skirmishers, yeah, all dead. They started running. They like it's just unfortunate they escaped with like one of their full units of cavalry. So I don't think they will be fully destroyed. Oh, 92 percent. So could they could be fully destroyed, which is good. We lost a little bit of men in that days, but they should recover actually. We'll see. That was all right. Lost 47, killed 773. Uh, Look, casual sustained on the equites. So this one's 16. Yeah, they got seven heals. Not a huge deal, but it's some. Brings them back up to pretty reasonable strength. Victory! So we didn't get a man of the hour for that. Forward! Pretty gutting. Uh, which so we'll try spread this experience about. Mm, that didn't work. No, that's yeah. Okay, kind of worked. Didn't work. Amazing. No. And then these guys. We'll get. We'll retrain them at the end. There's some sort of problem with retraining where you will lose your experience when you do that I think in certain scenarios I think it's when if you do anything else like right at the end of a uh, um, of a turn so it looks like we've done everything this turn we can okay, bring you back across how many equites we've got we've got one more equite coming probably get one more because we'll retrain the rest to give them the armor or the uh, the upgrade. Now, this army might just be pure cavalry, to be honest. If we if we want to send them like into here, being pure cavalry actually won't be much of an issue. However, if we want to send them east, being pure cavalry would still be good. It won't be. You know, it won't be perfect. Especially against the hoplites, we need we don't need people to hold the hoplites in the front line, but it does help to have some infantry just there to, to just act as battering ram, like to bat through them, and then bring our generals in the back. 
So Herius is a pretty good leader, so I'll probably use him. Let's end the turn there. Okay. Gaul is back. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, Greece. Like three hop like these are normal hoplites. They actually do have some armor and a lot of shields. So they got 16. Their attack though. I mean they're so slow, they should be easy to maneuver around. And then we have more just normal hoplites. Uh, those militia cavalry are awful, I hate them. So we're gonna have to deal with them some way, and our generals aren't fast moving. That's a one issue. So this person attacked me. So they'll be coming from the right. I wonder whether we can just if we go as far to the right as we can. They might be coming from the top right corner though. I'm wondering whether we can trap them against the red line and just kill them as they come in individually. That'll mean that they won't all be Men, killed though. We face adversity! A band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. Do not fear these over nice Greeks. They have come to fight, it is true. But they will only stay to die. If we win here today, we do far more than just defeat an army. If we win, we take a city from the enemy. We weaken them. We take their riches, their holy places, their lands, their women folk. But the winning, that is for you to do. Are you men enough for the task? We stand on the defensive today. Let them wear themselves out against our battle line. We slightly outnumber the enemy, but take nothing for granted. Victory must still be earned. We may be able to hide men in the woods nearby. With luck, that would be a surprise for our foes. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is in hand. Does he want blood this time? Oh, uh, yeah. He wants blood, as usual. Um, so it should be the right where they're coming in. Now this map's actually reasonably big. If we stay on the high ground though, if we come across to the right here and move up this way, we should be okay. Let's keep those. Ooh. Let's keep those guys. Let's keep all these guys up here. Full units, which is good for us. These guys at the end. Especially the archers. The archers will be very helpful. Yeah, they're coming in here. So let's go. They are going to get killed as soon as they come in. I mean... Might not actually be the best option. I just want to get rid of those those bloody cavalry, to be honest. These militia cavalry. Because when they rout, they will just run straight off. Which is not ideal for us. Okay, we don't need to be going that far forward. You guys halt. Get away from the uh, militia cav. And stick these guys behind, actually. Looks like they're going to be. Okay, Triaria is coming through. Kill them. Militia cavalry, let's kill them. If not, we'll go for the general. Let's go for the general then. Looks like the general's dead. Should be okay Every from now on then. Dead. His men know their doom approaches. Okay, you just want to be a massive dick, that's fine. Let's go after them, quick, quick, quick. No, don't sprint then. Okay, just keep being a bit massive dick, we're gonna kill you. Triari, I come back. Off lights. Gonna be firing our arrows into them. 
kill the Cretan archers, they're really good and they're very experienced. See, this is the one problem that you're going to be able to escape pretty easily. Might not, we might not take the city this turn then. Kill the Cretan archers, please. Okay, they're, they're close, they're close, go, go, go. Get them before they fire. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. Very nice. Mass route happening right now. Get in there, get in there, get stuck in, get stuck the in. God be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! Okay, these guys are running the other way. That's fine for us. Now, do we have anyone with any... No, I was going to say, do we have anyone with any peeler left? That doesn't look like it. We can definitely wipe out this unit, whatever happens. Just I don't think we will have killed enough. No, don't fire at them. Yeah, there's no way we've killed enough to take the town this turn. We only killed 50%. Did make the battle quite easy though, doing that. You guys, fire at these hoplites. So, bring the uh, infantry down here. That other unit, we should. Okay. I was going to say we should be able to mop them up pretty easily. Uh, actually, we'll send Amulius after him. Still a whole 50 troops in there. This uh, Flavius's men should be good. Kill these guys, kill these guys. Should be able to surround them with these guys as well. They should not pose a threat. Those ones running from Amuleus might get away. I hope they're not, but they might do. Right, Flavius, that's all but four. Should be an issue. Kill this last general unit. Okay, there's, there's two units though. Alright, all you guys halt. Just walk up here. Okay, the continue the battle. Just, just mop them up. Not don't only think we're... Yeah, we're only 65%. I don't think we will kill that army inside the town. Kind of unfortunate, but... It was just easy to do that to, to get rid of the army very quickly. Come on, speed up. Gonna get them before the edge? Ooh, just about. Killed them all, nice. Killed that other general. Uh, kill these guys, nice. How many did we lose anyway? We only lost 5% and I have 200 men left in the city, but should make it a lot easier to take the city. Unfortunately, we, you know, we're not going to be able to take the city this turn, most likely. But it made that battle a lot easier and relieved Thermon, which is pretty good. Sounds like we just got another general. Yeah, we did. Marcus Julius. He's a heartless ruler and he's no taste for blood. Yeah, and he's lazy. So, not the best. Send him to Ariminium. But we still want most of the slaves to come to here. Faction announcement. Yeah, Marcus Julius. He's got that tutor which gives him one management, but because he's lazy, he already got rid of it. Ariminium. Uh, what else do we want? Let's carry on. So, if we're getting infantry here, let's get cavalry here. Mediolanium. Let's retrain these guys. They haven't got experience, so it doesn't matter about that too much. Uh, and let's get that. How much is that going to add? Uh, it's going to add 50. Not amazing, but it adds more money than anything else that we can build right now. There, large temple to Jupiter. Probably not needed. Let's get the uh, trader and Carthage roads. Now we retrain these guys. We get some more Princapes. And what do we want to build here then? I mean, probably that. Yeah, that, that's going to bring the corruption down a lot. 
Uh, Sparta. Yeah, we're getting more Principes up here. We should have a second army pretty soon. So, these troops, yeah, they're going to have to go up to there. Now, do we want to come and take this? Yeah, that should be so easy. It might attack us again here, though. It should be pretty nice. I'd rather wait an extra turn, technically, for them to come and attack us again and to demolish that army once again. I'd like to fight that in the field rather than go inside and have to sally out. Hmm. Bring these Brink Bays up. Corinth. Gonna have a pretty heavy cavalry army up here. Now, how are we looking on recruitment? That's fine. Tavium could have recruited some Hastati. Let's recruit some Hastati from here. And where do we, we want to go with this that army? Okay, we're retraining there. Okay, let's let's actually just wait for that turn to happen and see what happens with the the Greek army. Whether they attack us again, because I would like them to attack us. I'd like to just demolish them. Um, when this retraining is done, we'll send that army down to Thapsus. Now we're probably going to have to smash some peasants out, but it should be okay. We do need generals down there still. So why don't we do that? And let's recruit a proper army. So we don't want a Herius. We want one of like some of the worst ones. Only these two. Just because they're going to be fighting rubbish. Like they're going to be fighting Carthage here and here, but they shouldn't have too good troops. And then they're going to be going into Namidia. So you know, not going to be fighting the greatest of people. We'll get that now because that will increase trade and. Uh, range of movement for our troops. Now here looks like a good little hub for troops but we need public order so let's carry on with the public order and Corinth uh, that's ours isn't it? Jupiter, yeah. Still only a large town, kind of mad. Like We are a few years into the campaign as well, it's not like we're, we're, we're not. Okay, they didn't attack us here. Order. So that means they'll be called in if I attack them here. No. I think we resolve this. I auto auto resolve this just because like it's ten to one. Um, it'd just be a pain. It'll take you know 10-15 minutes just to fight this battle. So let's do that and let's enslave. We should be able to retrain everyone. Yep. Yeah. Repair and destroy that. And get it to the In terms of recruitment, let's recruit another Princapes. And so this army is very much lacking in cavalry. Hmm. And let's uh, let's see whether we can get some more experience. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> right. More? Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, doing anything? No. Now, what else? Everything else? These are different. Illyrians and Mercenary Peltas, so we can't do anything about that. I'm surprised these generals only have that little amount of... Um, well, let's, uh, let's make sure we only retrain them in a sec when we've done all the construction we can uh, so Serta we did that Carthage trying to Jupiter and Corinth build that retrain these guys I don't know why they're able to be retrained maybe because we have a blacksmith here yeah we do nice uh, continue recruiting these guys uh, continue recruiting Equites. We're going to have a very cavalry focused army. Second army. Actually, we'll split this up. We'll stick four in here. We'll get a few infantry from this army. And one's going to go up there. One's going to go across. So, we want to keep recruiting. Fleet yeah, we have that, that fleet. It's not very strong, though. And then, what do we want to do at Carthage? Okay. Let's see what we can get away with. Probably nothing, really. 
Yeah, low tax rate still. How about if we do that? Hmm, I'm not sure we'll be able to take it. Uh, I mean, let's have a look now. 55. Think we'll be alright. Right, let's go attack this. It should be easy. Let's finish the uh, finish the episode on a battle because we skipped the Athens battle. So let's let's finish it on this battle and it should be pretty easy. We'll not listen to uh, the speech just because it's a uh, normal captain, not an actual general. Uh, well, you have to stay up here now. I mean. This Formations not terrible. Now we've got a bit of cavalry. Where the hell are they? Why did they? It's annoying. We'll just walk our men so they don't get exhausted. Yeah, let's go that. And let's speed it up. So, yeah, town militia and some Iberian infantry. Now, the Iberian infantry stats aren't that bad if you actually look at them. Well, because we can't see them yet. But they just seem to break so easily. And whenever you, like, when I've played Carthage, whenever you charge them into anyone, they just instantly die. Must, be, must just be have really low armor. I, I don't think it's that low, though, so I don't know what's going on with them. They're just terrible compared to everyone else. Like our Prinker Bays and start, you just eat them for breakfast. Like, they're, they're not very good. And the Town Militia are basically peasants with shields. They're, they're, they're a Town Watch, so... You know, technically they have spears and they have a bonus against cavalry, but... should not be a problem for these Equites. So let's just walk the rest of our men all the way there and let's kill them. Now, you know, it isn't a blitz campaign. We haven't done everything amazingly fast, especially because we had to come east and south. If we'd have carried on north, we would have probably taken a few more settlements than what we have now because it would have been easy armies, it would have been barbarians. No, 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 I thought they were going to try and run away, which technically I don't think they can do because they're at the end of their movement, but let's bring these guys forward and you can come fire at some Iberian infantry if you would like. Okay, they're going to charge us. This should be so easy. Let's just charge, 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 charge. See what happens here to the town militia. Get a charge off, please. Like, we might have lost a few men there. But they're all routing now. Anyone not routing? Okay. Yeah, you know, morale shot is so OP in this game. No, let's not fire any. Enemy army is in flight. You guys stop firing, stop firing, stop firing. Stop firing. Run that way. Let's just completely wipe them out. I think that's everyone. Well, that was that was all right. Just kill the rest of these guys. Maybe get some experience. No, it doesn't look like it. The general has one experience. Not brilliant. Like, if we get Man of the Hour, that'd be nice. I don't think we will, though, because it was so in our favour. Oh, brilliant! And they're awesome. They're full. That's really good man for the Man of the Hour. Management and influence as well. So, yes, of course. Imperator. Now we're going to have three generals across here. Imperator. Nero, Rex. Engage the enemy. Take these Namidian mercenaries so they can't have them, because they're really annoying to deal with. And let's just check all our towns, and then that'll be the end of the video. So, Aretium here, not recruiting, but we are recruiting from Ariminium, some Hastati. So we're going to recruit a proper army, I think, over, over there. 
Palmer. No. No, that's all. All good. We don't have actually many territories, do we? It's really not great. We are getting towards being the best faction. Oh, yeah, own faction. So I was doing the wrong thing there. <laughs> yeah, we're only on 13. Well, 14, sorry. I mean, I could have just looked at that. <laughs> but that's everything for today. Thank you very much, guys. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment your most nostalgic Total War down below. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video.